A program that tracks shootings in some of Nashville's highest crime areas is off the table. Now, the mayor says the reason is that the city council members only budgeted enough money for one year for ShotSpotter, not the three-year contract that the company requires. News Force Cameron Taylor getting reaction from residents about this decision, and we believe you're probably getting an earful. Yeah, I am Tom and Tracy. They thought the program was a good idea, but now they'll never know if it would have worked. The technology would have alerted officers anytime the sound of gunfire was picked up, but now, uh, and it would have prompted a quicker response too. Neighborhoods like Buena Vista Heights in North Nashville would have been among the first to try out a pilot program aimed at reducing gun violence. The technology called ShotSpotter detects audio frequencies from gunfire and alerts police. There's something going on in the area, you know, as much notification as we can have so that we can be aware of our surroundings and be safe within our homes. Uh, I think that's very important. Terry Knuckles, who has friends and family who live near Buena Vista Heights, says something needs to be done. Mayor David Riley's office have been in talks with the company for most of the year before deciding to scrap the plan. His office said, quote, although the year one money was allocated by council in the budget, ShotSpotter requires two or three year contracts. For this reason, we have told ShotSpotter that we are not moving forward at this time. You really shouldn't kill a program before you try it. Um, so I think this one's definitely worthwhile. There may be other things that other cities are doing out there that we can use to help us, but you know, this again was a good starting place. Nearly 100 other cities in the country, like Washington, D.C. and Oakland, California, already used the program. Nashville would have joined Jackson as the second city in Tennessee to sign on. Numbers from the cities that already use ShotSpotter show there are more gunshot incidents than are reported to police. Now, I also spoke with Councilman Freddie O'Connell, who represents one of the neighborhoods that would have received this technology. He says he has mixed feelings about the mayor's decision. He says on one hand, he's for anything that reduces gun violence, but at the same time, he understands the mayor's decision when it comes to cost effectiveness. Tom and Tracy. Cameron Taylor, live for us. Cameron, thanks.